coffee. Coffee filament. I need more sleep. It's filament Friday. Several months ago, I attended the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. It's a rather large 3D printing festival in Goshen, Indiana. And there I met the Protopasta guys. And they sent me a sample spool of their coffee PLA filament. And I've been wanting to try this out because I've heard so much about it and the aroma that it gives off while it's printing. And it definitely gives off an aroma. Well, I use this filament to print this. It's a K-cup stand. This is a K-cup and we use it in our Keurig coffee maker to make individual cups of coffee. And there's all different flavors of coffee you can buy, plus hot chocolate and tea. So we've got a bunch of these lying around, but there's really just a handful that we use all the time. So I designed this stand for our most common ones in Tinkercad, printed it with the coffee filament on my maker front printer. Let me show you how I did it. And here's the final design in Tinkercad. It came out pretty good and it's pretty simple to make. Let me show you. You start with a box and then I'm going to bring in the ruler tool so I can easily change the numbers here to 160 wide, 170 deep, and 7 millimeters tall or thick. Then I'll center it. Then I'll bring in a cylinder. And I measured the cups and I know I want the holes 42 millimeters in diameter. And then I'm just going to take this one and center it. Now I can grab that one, edit duplicate, and just slide it over to the left. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not using exact measurements. You can definitely use exact measurements. But I put one on each side, position them about where I wanted it, and then I use the align tool to align all three of these so they're in a row. Then I grouped them together and pushed, positioned them a little bit off the bottom because I, I want to have room. And then I duplicated these. And when I hit duplicate the second time, it automatically positioned it equally for that third group. So now I just manually take all of them and adjust and align to the center. And I've got my K-cup holes. So now I grab them all as one group again, drop them down so they go through and then make them into a hole. Group that all together. And I've got my plate. Now Tinkercad's a little slow here, but uh, got my plate with the holes in it. So now all I needed to do was angle this to where I want it. I'll try to match the other one. I, I don't remember the exact angle, to be honest with you. But this is close. And then I just brought in another block for the base. And again, I just 160 millimeters wide. This time I went 73 millimeters deep and again, 7 millimeters thick. And just slid it underneath this guy. Try to line it up about the same as I was before. And then drop the whole plate down into the base. Use the align tool, line them over the center, group them together, and there it is. The design is complete. Now if you're new to Tinkercad, this is how you get the design file out of it. You click on design, download for 3D printing, click on .stl, and now you got your file ready to send to your slicer. I like to use Simplify 3D. It's expensive at 150 bucks, but I think it's worth it. So you click on that, edit process settings. I chose my maker front profile, PLA settings, medium quality, 30% infill. Now I'll show you that in the advanced tabs here. The layer height, 0.25, four top and bottom layers. I actually should have done more than that. I used this uh, brim around the edge to stop from warping. I did 30% infill and I add this solid diaphragm every 20 layers. Temperature wise, heated bed 70, primary extruder 205 degrees. And then I clicked on prepare to print and it sliced it and here's the finished design and you can see the brim along the bottom to help hold it in place and it said it would take four hours and 39 minutes 63 meters of plastic and here is the time lapse
and here's the finished unit with K cups installed and they hold pretty good they don't fall out that 42 millimeters is like the perfect size because it kind of squishes them in place and keeps them about centered on the rail now the print itself probably could use more top and bottom layers and maybe a little higher fill because I, I definitely have some roughness here in the bottom if I hold it up to the light it's pretty see-through the front's fine the front surface here has some slight gaps in it uh, it's not really splitting it just looks like it didn't get enough plastic or it wasn't flowing as well so I don't know if I didn't have the temperature right or I, I should have checked that more before I use this but in general it works fine it looks good enough and my wife likes it and my daughter likes it and they can't even agree on whether they like a pair of shoes or not so I think this is a win-win for me so if you think it's a win if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you like what I'm doing here please subscribe getting real close to that 10k and if you want to help support my channel for practical prints like this which is what I try to do a dollar a month to my patreon account really helps and I try to put more behind the scenes information up there so you you get your dollars worth so that's it for this week I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time on film of Friday